this here is an AI generated video, specifically text to video. And so is this video of kids playing. As you can see, both videos are of high quality without any watermarks. Now, this is a video that was generated from an image, and so is this video. And finally, we have a video that was created from a reference image. So with this, you can create consistent characters across all your projects. Now, all these videos were created using one AI tool. Now, this tool is absolutely free, and as you can see, it doesn't leave any watermarks on your videos. Now, before we get started, kindly remember to hit that subscribe button. Also, remember to like and share this video so that more people can benefit from it. Without wasting time, let's get started. So first we'll start by going over to this website right here. Now this is Hailuo AI Free and as you can see right here, they are not affiliated with Minimax in any way, but they do use Hailuo AI's technology to create the videos. Now right in the discover page, you can see samples of videos. So these are the type of videos that you can expect to generate with this tool. Now up here, we have the text to video. Next, we have the image to video and we also have the subject reference. So let's go ahead and start by testing out the text to video option. So right here is the prompt box. And what you need to do is just go ahead and input a prompt of whatever it is that you want to create. So in this case, I want to create a group of children that are playing. Next, I'll hit generate. And now I have to go ahead and verify that I'm human. So every time you input a prompt and hit generate, you always have to go ahead and make sure you hit the verify button. So that way your project will be added to the queue. So now our project has been queued and as you can see, this can take up to five minutes. Sometimes it can take longer depending on how busy the servers are. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this. So our video is ready. So let me just show it to you. So right here is the resulting video. As you can see, the prompt execution was actually really good. You can see the quality of the video is actually really, really good also for a free tool. So this is actually a tool that you may want to consider if you're looking for a free resource. Now let's go ahead and generate a realistic video using the text to video feature. So I'll input this very detailed prompt. And the next thing that I can do is go ahead and choose the, uh, the model that I want to use for this. So I'll just choose the text to video model. Then I'll hit generate. Again, you'll need to go ahead and hit the verify button so that your project can be queued. So once that is done, We'll just give this a couple of minutes to generate. And again, I'll just go ahead and fast forward this part. As you can see, our video is right here. It's ready. So let's go ahead and view the video. Now, as you can see, this is a really, really quality video for a free tool. And you can see even the movement in the water, in the ocean as the waves are crashing by the you know, at the beach and you can see even the palm trees all swinging in the wind. Like this is a really good video. Now let's go ahead and test the image to video feature. So for this, you need an image that is ready. So I'm going to upload an image that I already have. So I'll upload this image and then I'll go ahead and say what I want to happen in this image. So now I'll go ahead and input the prompt that I want to use. And for the model, I'll go ahead and use the camera control movements. Then now I can hit generate. And again, remember you always have to go ahead and verify that you're human. So once I do that again, this is just going to be queued. And like I said before, it takes quite uh, a couple of minutes for this to generate. So in this case, again, I'll just go ahead and fast forward this. So the video is right here. It's ready. As you can see, the camera movements are actually really good. So basically, this is one sure way to get a really good shot for your project. Now, there's something weird going on at the very end here. But again, that can always be corrected using the prompting. Now, let's go ahead and upload another image. So this is an image of a girl that's reading a book. So I want her to close the book and put the book right beside her. So after choosing the model, I'll hit generate. Then next, I'll go ahead and verify that I'm human. Then this is just going to start uh, to queue my, pro uh, my project. So now here is the project. It's already ready. I have fast forwarded this part as usual. So here we have the video. 
so the quality of the video is good so other than the morphing that's going on as she closes the book and crosses her legs the video is actually good and obviously it can be made much better by refining your prompt now let's go ahead and test the final feature which is the subject reference feature so i'll just go ahead and click on the subject reference feature and with this you can go ahead and create consistent characters for all your projects very easily so now i'll go ahead and upload an image of whatever of the character that i want to use now remember in this case what we need is just the face of the character so once i've input my prompt i can go ahead and hit generate and again i'll just go ahead and fast forward this part so now here is the video as you can see we have our character she's walking down the street and as you can see, it's the face of our character and she's doing exactly what we gave in the prompt. Now, this is a sure way to have a consistent character across all your projects. So it's really that easy to use this AI tool. And again, it's absolutely free and your videos are not going to have a single watermark. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comment section below. Until next time, stay safe. Bye.